Let's welcome in our co-hosts on this fabulous Friday morning, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. William. It is fabulous. Good morning, Rob. Delegate Michael Height, the Badger. Good morning, Robert. You know, I don't. many people don't know, but uh, Mike made his syndicated radio broadcasting debut on Tuesday night during election coverage as one of the chief analysts for the election results in, in West Virginia. Michael, you were uh, front and center big time. Uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with who? I surprised myself. Yeah, with, uh, uh, ABC, Fox, uh, uh, John... Fredericks. Fredericks. John, yeah. The John Fredericks Show. He's, he's Syndicated guy. He's on, uh, I don't know, about six, seven different states. Yeah. About 15, yeah. 20 cities. Pennsylvania, Virginia. He, he bought a bunch of stations here in West Virginia. Five, I think, yeah. Yeah. So he's around. So yeah. you, were, you were one of his chief political analysts... Was he disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He he said he wanted. Well, I was on with uh, Matt Harvey as well. He's, yeah. Afterwards, he said he wanted to hire the the two of us. So Sweet, we, mm -hmm. we did such a good job. So, pat myself on the back a little bit. Well, you know, uh, Mr. Hornby will match that offer. He also pays top dollar. Yeah, yeah. I well, and I got paid twice as much for the syndicated as I do here. No kidding. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Considering I know what you get paid here. <laughs> <laughs> our, uh, our guest on the program is the Berkeley County Clerk, Tony Petruzzi, uh, formerly a Berkeley County Commissioner as well. Tony, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me again. Well, have you recovered from your first election as a clerk? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thought it went uh, fairly well. Uh -huh. uh, before I, we get into conversations, uh, I want to thank a few people. Uh, County Commission was very uh, helpful. County Administrator, helpful, IT Department, Bailiff, Sheriff's Department, uh, our poll workers, uh, the voter registration staff, of course, that we have, did a great job. Secretary of State's office was very helpful uh, during, the, during this uh, period that we had. Uh, the computer company we deal with and uh, part-time employees that came in to help out. Um, Excuse me, Mike, he's covered so, everybody except you and I. Yeah. And uh, yeah. certainly. <laughs> Mike Height. Yeah. Certainly Mike Height was uh, a big help by not showing but, uh, up. And getting, uh, staying out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I missed anybody, I do apologize. But that uh, it was a team effort. And uh, for my first time, I thought it went uh, A-OK. -okay. Tony, there were some folks yep. who said they had uh, the incorrect precinct yep. when they went to vote uh, yep. because of uh, redistricting lines being redrawn. There were some things that yep. were not accurate. Yep. Uh, how much of that is your well, responsibility? Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to take full responsibility for that. Um, I didn't uh, cut bait soon enough with the uh, voter super, uh, supervisor that we have in that office, um, which still, w once it happened uh, – we didn't have a whole lot of time to get things rolling. So some things were missed. We did the best we could. At one time, we had 15,000 uh, voters to get cards. And, uh, of course, with that amount of cards, we had to uh, sub it out to get the uh, printing company to take care of that, I was told. So uh, so I'll take responsibility for that, of not ha uh, cutting bait early enough to get – uh, an experienced supervisor that we had. She's been there for years. I don't know why she wasn't a supervisor to begin with. But um, So if, if somebody here's, – here's a couple things that have been flying around yep. social media. Mm -hmm. You can clarify what's accurate and what is just social media yeah. myth. Yeah. If you went to the wrong precinct mm -hmm. to vote, mm -hmm. could you vote a provisional ballot uh, at that precinct? Absolutely. If, if I just used uh, Commissioner Stubblefield as an example. He was on his card – it might have said Betty Tenrotan. But when he got there, the poll workers told him off of their poll book it should have been uh, Betty Tenrotan, not even at this church. We'll use that example. Mm -hmm. uh, he has the opportunity to either go there where he's supposed to be or do a provisional ballot, which is counted. Right. Uh, the only way it's not counted, which we, we won't know until we do the canvas, if he wasn't registered. Um, and that happens. I mean, we can't deny anybody to vote. But, but if there's, there's some people that don't. But when you, when you check it, if they're not a registered voter, then the vote it's, doesn't it's, count. It's not counting. Okay, so there's a, there's a secondary rumor then mm -hmm. that 
these provisional ballots will not be counted because there's not enough manpower or people to no, count. No, that's not, that's not true. They will be counted. Yep. Every that, provisional ballot will yes. be counted. Mm -hmm. When does the count happen? Uh, it's, we have five days after the election for the canvas. So the canvas is Monday. So they'll be taken care of before then. The co commission decides whether or not they accept the provisional ballots, what we have. This, and we have a pile here that says they're okay. The county commission says, all right, they'll vote on it. And what reasons would they use for not accepting the provisional ballots? Uh, not being registered mainly. But, but you would determine if someone's registered or not, correct, oh, yeah. from your office? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Or if there's indication somebody voted twice. Yes, sure. that could yeah. happen. Yeah. Uh, I know when uh, Commissioner Stubblefield and I were in, in there together, there wasn't a, a whole lot of people that wasn't registered. That would mm -hmm. get that out. Uh, and not, uh, there were some provisionals. Um, we have to do 1% of the... Uh, precincts, so we're going to have to they're going to have to pull three precincts out of a hat mm -hmm. to uh, go for, move forward with the uh, process of Th canvassing. Third question coming from these okay. these are what are forwarded to me. Abs I'm, absolutely, I'm, I'm forwarding uh, these to you. Mm -hmm. I can I ran against Bill. Mm -hmm. I saw the vote count Tuesday night. I conceded. Now, provisional ballots are counted. Maybe 500 people went to the wrong place. I lost by 499. I get all 500 of those. I now have one more vote than Bill, but I conceded on Tuesday night, so I can't defeat Bill. What, what happens if I conceded, but in the end, when all the votes are counted, I've actually got more votes than Bill? Rob, uh, that's happened in the presidential election back with Gore and uh, uh, and and Bush. Uh, Bush conceded, mm -hmm. and then Bush realized that he was going to he could win, so he pulled back his his succession. So he went ahead and as we what, all what know. What if I didn't pull it back though? Would do we know? Well, what the it'd be that foolish is? for you not to pull it back if you think you can win. You just were premature. And but conceded. if I don't pull it back on the concession and the votes turn out in my favor, what I, happens? I the it, vote. It, it would go to, to the vote. Yeah. To the vote. Yeah. All right. So, Bill, I don't concede. I still think I can beat I you. I didn't think you would concede, Bob. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Rob. <laughs> Mr. Height. So, I, I'm, I'm glad you took responsibility for that, Tony. But in my opinion, some of this has to go on the voters. The, the, it. If you're an educated voter, you know we just had redistricting and that lines change and the precincts change. Yep. And it is so easy to go on the Secretary of State's website and find out exactly where your polling place is. So, you know, I, I, as much as I appreciate the fact that you're taking responsibility, as a as a voter, we have to take responsibility as well, and we have to put some of that back on us. And uh, I I believe that some of us voters are lazy, and uh, we just assume too much sometimes. So I appreciate the fact that that you take responsibility, but I'm not going to put all this on on your well, your your doorstep. You're, you're you're you make good points. I mean, we you know we've had it on Facebook, our our, uh, our phone number. Uh, I think the county commission has uh, uh, expedited it. Also, um, it's you know it's been on the radio, um, paper. Um, Not to mention you had you had a lot of time internet. to early vote. You had three yes. different places yes. this year. Yes, you, it wasn't all in town. You could uh -huh. you could go to Pikeside. You could go to the North End. There were three yep. places. There was plenty of time to vote. And in those cases, early voting, you can go to any of them. It doesn't matter. That's correct. We had forty two hundred people vote out of those three places, which my thought was you know for the first time was okay. I like to see it a little bit more, um, but. Um, you're, I'm, you're right, uh, it, but some of the criticism that, that I get uh, through emails are not all bad. Sure. Uh, it's not like they're cussing me out on the, you know, whatever. <laughs> we which, can do which, that here. Which, yeah, sure. which uh, <laughs> yeah. some, ha some do, but, but it, it's a um, – they, they give you a, 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 another option. 
Maybe we should have done it this way. Yes, sir. Yeah, Tony, I'm, I'm going to be the bad cop here. Yeah. I'm, with our technology and, uh, and our capability, mm -hmm. we shouldn't be making mistakes like this. Correct. We made mistakes like this uh, election before last, before mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a, it doesn't take a big mistake mm -hmm. uh, or big error to people say the system is not running the way it should be. Correct. And, yeah, and the fact this is your first election, uh, you get a lot of slack. I hope that we do not have well, mistakes like this in the we, we are once the canvassing yeah. is finished yeah you know we're we're going to start with the with the cards that 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 need to be changed for november uh and um i, I feel confident and and one thing you need I, I know you understand this uh with my three departments finance is in good shape the old courthouse as far as the people that I have, is in good shape. But over the years, the voter registration office needs more full-time people. Now, I'm going to have to go to the commission with the offer they can't refuse, actually, with this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because it was 91,000 people. When an Italian says that, it has a, <laughs> has a different meaning. <laughs> <That's exactly. laughs> Where's my ball bat? Nicely done, Tony. Yeah, well played. When, when they <laughs> – uh, back – when they, uh, I don't know if we were in there or not when they got these machines, but, you know, there were probably 70,000 registered voters then maybe. Now we got 91,000, and we have two full-time people in yeah. voter registration, yeah. and we rely on part-timers. Yeah. Well, I've got great part-timers, uh, but they're part-time. They can only work 20-some hours a week. So we've got to step it up in another direction uh, where we can get some, a couple more full-time people that can handle things and also get trained on these machines on on if somebody calls in and says hey you know i'm having problems with the machine out, out one of the one of the poll workers that we could direct them how to fix it over the phone instead of relying so much on it or whoever else might be there to help us so we've got to step to, up the and, and and equipment we're going to need some additional equipment that's getting a little worn um, to move forward in the future if these, um, you know, machines break down during, during the course of anything. And, and, and people make, make, make mistakes, but I agree with you. Yeah, but there's the, you have another problem as well, and that's the way with the, uh, with the uh, county commission, the ballot, that it was not clear mm -hmm. uh, how they should vote. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that I'm going to we, – we talked about that earlier. We're, we're, I'm going to look into and see if we can separate that on the ballot per district. Uh, it was confusing. Yeah, and but it was separated in years past. It, it seemed to be, yeah, yeah. but I don't know what happened, why it isn't now. Yeah. This, um, and this is – each election, this seems to be the same story. Yeah. You, with you, the county commission. You just specifically yeah, yeah, with the, yeah, the yeah, county yeah, commission. The Board yeah. of Education would be the only other one that uh, has, has district limits on how many can serve. But otherwise, yeah. this county commission race is always confusing to people yeah. each year. Yeah, John yeah. Hardy, who looked like he had the third most votes in a three-person right. race, and he he was a winner. Right. People right. are going, I, well, how'd that happen? Right. Well, so. it's because Hardy was by himself; he was uncontested. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whereas the other two were running against each right. other. That's correct. So, I'm, I'm gonna look. We're looking at that. See if it's. Yeah. I don't think it's Th this isn't something thing. you did. You inherited this. Yeah, I, I just don't know why we can't. If right. we can't, we can't. I, yeah, but, but I'm, I, I'm not sure. Again, I'm going to be the bad cop. Uh, well, no, Bill, I, we've, I've had this discussion every election on the county commission. Race. But it's it's the way it's printed. It's the way it's present. It's the way it's presented on the ballot, and the clerk has a lot of say so on the presentation of the ballot. Mm -hmm. You have a chance to look at it. You have a chance to, to review it. And if the changes need to be made, they should be made. If, if a similar problem has been inherited from clerk to clerk to clerk, well, that's on the clerk. Well, I'll uh, take responsibility for that also, but I, I will I check into how, it. I don't did know you, how you Did you shoot Kennedy, there. too? Did, uh, Bill's <laughs> going to have you involved in the Kennedy assassination, Tony, before this is over. I, I no, don't know how you up present that on the ballot, though, uh, because you you have to list everybody that's running. I, I would th again, I, I'm going to put this back on the voters. You have to know that only one from any one district 
can be elected. Well, that, that's I a mean, pretty obscure one to have to yeah, know for I'm a vote. I'm not sure I agree that's, with you on that, Mike. It's uh, that people. <laughs> Bill's just people, attacking everybody on this show. People, today. <laughs> I, stop the whining. Go out and educate yourself on how to vote. I mean, because that. that that's, but that's, that's, I, a, I, that's I, a unique I agree one. They should, but they won't. They okay, don't. but they, they don't. should. But, this but, is but, this is important. Voting is important. Take an interest in it. We had the lowest voter turnout of any county in the state of West Virginia. That is so disappointing. Berkeley County, get your act now, together oh. and get out and vote. Yeah. Educate yourself to who's running and get out and vote. Now I'd like to blame Tony for that as well. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. I don't know how to help you, but <laughs> Things normally don't change. <laughs> trying to back up my buzz on here, but Bill's bringing the heat. Yeah, man. Uh, Tony, in, in, re, in regards to the provisional ballots, mm-hmm. do you know how many there were? Uh, I was told by my voter registration uh, supervisor around 190, which really I thought was low. It, it I, I, I thought it was going to be, yeah, be a lot more, yeah. uh, but um, some people said they did not receive their voter registration card. That in the possibility mail it could could have happened. Any idea what percentage of that no. is made up no. from that? No. Any idea how many people had the wrong location on their card? No. Percentage no. wise? No. Not off the top of my head, I don't. Do you do you think it was a a, a great percentage, like half, uh, ten no, percent, five percent? No. No. Uh, I'd have to say probably ten percent, maybe. maybe. 10? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just guessing. I didn't. We didn't get a lot of calls about that. Uh, I didn't get hardly any major emails about that uh, myself. I got one. Now there, there was also an arrest involved for somebody who was politicking at one of the oh, locations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Down at uh, Bettyton, uh, not Bettyton, Baker Heights uh, United Methodist Church, I believe it was. Uh, Got a call that somebody was um, going in and out, wanting to know how many votes there were, how many votes there were, how many votes there were, and it causing problems. So they, uh, the poll workers called our office, and we, uh, they called uh, 911, and they called me. But I wasn't satisfied with that. I thought, let's try to expedite this thing a little bit. So um, I had some contacts, and uh, 20 minutes later, the uh, sheriff called and said he was arrested and had a gun. Oh, had a gun. Wow. Yeah, and they arrested him. So that uh, that, went, that Well, the gun doesn't bother me. I mean, he didn't brandish it, right? No. We have Second Amendment rights, so That's the gun correct. thing doesn't That's bother me. That's correct. But you can't, but you go can't have it in the polling place. place. But it bothers me if the person's you, creating a problem. You can't have a gun in the you polling place. You can't have it inside the polling right. It's good yeah. to know. You know what? Talk show hosts need to educate themselves before they make points on the it's responsibilities of talk show hosts to educate yourself. I'll have to remember next time I go to the polling place. I, I didn't Don't know that. Late to him, but you can't right. the that's, what, that's what that's what I was that's what I was told. Now I haven't read it. Is that in state code? I I'm going to change I, that. I haven't seen it in state code. That, that's ridiculous. But I was told Don't do that. Could. I have a Second well, Amendment yeah, right to yeah. carry my gun anywhere I want. Well, you, no, you, no, you're not. You cannot do it in a courtroom. I right, a courtroom, but yeah. why not a polling place? Uh, intimidation. Yes. And I'm, I'm told I, by only a person. If I brandish it, yeah. why is it intimidation? I we should might be wanna, able to. We, we might want to look into that. Yeah, I, I could be wrong, but I, I was told that. Yeah. You know, so a couple if comments. I have a concealed carry. I should be able to carry it. A couple comments here from uh, our Delegate John Hardy said, Le- the legislature has provided money for equipment for voting machines, I presume he means, from that part of the discussion, with the first 10% of the excise tax. So there should be some money in there somewhere, Tony. That's correct. And a person who was at that Baker Heights um, location said the gun was indeed loaded, and uh, she didn't think it was very funny. Well, well, well if, if m- yeah. Mr. Hardy says that with the, about the money, we uh, uh, once he's in there, well, well, I'll test. I'll test that. Well, yeah, he he may be close by you soon. The, yes, the gun yeah. was loaded. What good is it if it's I'm, I know. not loaded? <laughs> I'm, say, I'm just telling you what the comment was. <sighs> well, but put yourself if you're working in a polling place, you're volunteering. Yeah, and somebody comes in who's animated and has a gun, and you're living in America where we just routinely shoot up innocent un- unarmed people like crazy anymore. And even around the world, where they're all catching first, on to I our habits be now. Unarmed. All right, first and foremost, not every woman wants to carry a gun. Okay, when they go to work at the polling place, 
right? But you so, said me. If so, I was sitting at a polling place, I wouldn't be unarmed. Well, you're not you're not who I'm talking to right okay. now. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm but, technically looking at you and talking to you. And actually, you are who I'm talking to right now. But this is from a person who was there, and I presume was unarmed. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this person who ultimately required being arrested by the sheriffs, animated, irritated, armed, that's not of concern to you? Listen, the the animated and trying to affect uh, a polling place or trying to intimidate people, yeah. that that bothers me. The fact that he was armed doesn't bother me at all. Did he brandish the weapon? Did he pull it out if you and were point calm, it at anybody? It wouldn't bother me. Once you start getting angry, I'm concerned. Uh, okay, but did he pull it out? Did did he brandish the, the firearm? Well, we know just that, because he was armed. We know mean that he was the police came it. before anything happened. Well, that's true. But what was he doing before that? I wasn't there. He was just going in and out. He was going and to, asking yeah, questions. Yeah. And, uh, and, and and maybe intimidating people. Maybe. I, I, maybe. I get that. But intimidating them with, with his voice. Well. His